handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from the Meadowlands racetrack here on Friday it's the 1st September 2023 gonna look the eighth race from the big M but before I get on to that remember to please follow me on Twitter at horse racing kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world and I mean it around the world let's look at the eighth from the Meadowlands which is a Philly Mare nine wars 12 last four starts here a uh, field of eight pacers going that one mile trip going for the $20,000 purse gonna take the two horse Bellissima Hanover let's go to Two five six seven in the super factor. Two five six seven super top selection tours. Bellissima Hanover. This three row filly by Captain Treacherous. Tony Tony Alanya trains this one. Uh, Todd McCarthy's in the sulky. The horse's most recent outing came in a winners of one to three pair mutual at Pocono, twenty second of August, and the horse in by seven three quarter lengths that day. He left from the outside gate and that won it for this horse. Basically, when the wings closed. He just took off clear and uh, went for fun. 151 and 2. Had everything his own way in the front end. Paced him a decent uh, final in 27 that day. But, um, you know, it, it was a very strong, strong run on a very nice, uh, fast track and was getting serious class relief. Two back, the horse ran the Shady Daisy Metal uh, here at the Meadowlands on Hambo Day, 5th of August. He finished third by six and a half lengths that day. He left off the gate, got overtaken late. The, the track was playing major towards speed. It was also was facing tough horses, so, or excuse me, not playing towards speed playing towards closers that day so you know was behind the a ball also tough horses you know just couldn't keep up there it wasn't the horses date at the win uh and then the tompkins at the meadowlands on the 29th of july he finished fifth by two lengths that day and just never really got going got swung out wide late and you know was just facing very tough competition and the shaley at the meadowlands on the um uh, on the uh, 15th of uh, july the horse uh, finished eighth by six and three quarter lengths another wide trip throughout and just never really showed up but has definitely been improving since uh coming back this season refreshing here in a lower class 520 i know she's a you know it's not the best price in the world but not the worst price either um you know i, I think she'd get a good trip and win the five horse too proud for brian sears i think could win has been seen in a pair mutual run since uh 30th of july at kim pocono and non was in 97 last few and the horse and by length that day in 151 and three um based on a, a very pedestrian 20 and three but he really that was a very easy run for this horse there prior to non wars is 96 in the last four at uh, pocono the horse finished third by two and a half lengths and again had a bit of a troubled trip early on but was pacing home decently late most recent race here at the mountain the horse was stuck with the um the 10 hole or she just never really got going finished 10th by 16 lengths uh, and then you know prior to that ran here at the mountain lands and on was 1250 finished six by four and a quarter lengths kind of hit the wall late but she you know she ran decently early on come back here in a little bit of a lower race at 10 to 1 i'll use her on the uh pick six ticket that begins with this race but to recap my selection for the 8th from the Meadowlands, going to take the 2 horse, Bellissima Hanover. Give kudos to the 5 horse, 2 Proud, 2 five, six, seven, Super, 2 5 in your multi-race. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 Good luck, everybody.